Hey guys, Kilten again. Today we are solving another problem from the beginner level of CodeChef in C++. And the problem we are solving today is reverse the number. And the problem code is FLOW007. Uh, the problem statement is if an integer n, write a program to reverse the given number. So the problem statement is very straightforward. We just take an integer, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we output the reverse of that number. So that would be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right, so it's very simple. So we can do it in two ways. Uh, uh, one would be to convert the integer into a string, and then just reverse the string. Right, that's one. Then that's one way. Or we could just uh, go through the integer uh, in the reverse order. We can do that using the reminder uh, method, and uh, so we'll be going through each digit in the uh, from one one digit, ten digit, hundred digit, and so on. And we'll just output whatever we get, uh, whatever the current digit is, right? So I'll show the digits method now because strings is fairly simple if you know any string handling at all. And uh, uh, you know, digit uh, digits method is kind of uh, lesser less known, I guess. Uh, and so I'll do that. So first of all, we need test cases. Uh, we we have test cases in our uh, input. So we have to keep a variable for that and then let's put n so that it will be the current n value, right? So let's take C, let's take T and then run a loop so that we can go through each test case. Okay, uh, now let's take n value, right? So now we will be going through n value and the condition will be that it shouldn't be zero we'll be dividing n by 10 every time we have taken the current digit so i'll just write it down for now so c out is n percent n percentile 10 right so there's a problem with this method i'll, I'll just run this and you'll see what the problem is First of all, let me explain what I'm doing here. Okay, so let's say uh, n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So we are outputting n percentile 10, which would be 5, right? Next, we are decreasing n. We are basically dividing 10 by 10. n by 10. Uh, sorry, this is, should be n divided by equals to 10. So we'll be dividing n with 10 then the result will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, some of us might expect 1, 2, 3, 4.5, right? But the thing is, since it's C++ and uh, it doesn't do dynamic uh, data type handling, what happens is, since n is integer, it will just store 1, 2, 3, 4 instead of 1, 2, 3, 4.5, right? We have declared it as integer, so it will just store 1, 2, 3, 4. It will remove that decimal value, whatever it may be, right? So we'll be storing 1, 2, 3, 4. And in the next iteration, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 here. So we'll just uh, do percentile 10, we'll get 4, we'll output it. And then this will become 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 2, 3, because we divided it by 10. So this will go on and uh, you know, 3 will be popped and 2 will be popped. After that, we'll, we'll be left with 1, right? So now 1 will be popped. Uh, center output and then if we divide 1 it will become 0 right because it's only integer division so in that case uh, n will be 0 and it will be no it will not hold this case anymore uh, so it will just come out so we just output an end line here so that the format is well the output is formatted right so this is uh, test cases that are given here so I'll just run this and uh, you guys can see what will happen. There is a small problem with this. You'll see that. There's a small edge case here with this solution. That would be, we are getting 0, 0, 3, 2 here, right? A every other answer is correct. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is changed to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, 3, 1, 2, 0, 3 is changed to 3, 0, 2, 1, 3, right? This is also correct. But the last one, we are still getting zeros. Right, but the but the output here says that we should only get three two, right? We shouldn't have leading zeros. So to solve this, we just have to check 
if when we are encountering encountering a zero like in this case we have, we have we encountered this first right we should check if any other digit other than zero uh, is ahead of it already like we have outputted it already if we haven't done that then it will become a, it will be a leading zero right then in that case we ju we just don't output it and we move on okay so so uh, this should be wrapped inside uh, an if condition right and we'll need a boolean to know uh, so let's call this boolean uh, i don't know first uh, first zero right is true because uh, if we encounter zero it will be, it will be the first zero right so let's just say that is it is the first zero so now what we do is if first of all we have to check the n percentile 10 is 0 right and if it is 10 and also we have to check if if it is the first 0 right first 0 or basically uh, is it a leading 0 let's change let's change this to leading right okay so if it is a leading 0 then what do we do? We just continue, right? We don't go through, we don't output the zero. Okay. If this is the case, we just, okay. We have to still divide it. So this should happen, but this should not happen. Right. Uh, so, all right, we'll just do this. We'll do n divided by 10. And then this okay we could actually reduce this to just one statement like uh, here we'll also need 10 uh, divided by 10 but we could uh, eliminate one but let's just keep it like this so that you guys can understand better so if we are finding that the zero we encountered is a leading zero we just decrement this uh, sorry divide it and then we just continue okay Otherwise, we'll output this and then divide it by zero and then go through uh, next iteration, right? But here we have to update the leading zero, right? We can't just uh, keep the leading zero as true all the time. So when do we update the leading zero? Well, if it's not a zero, then it's obviously and well, it's obviously not a leading zero anymore, right? If we encounter a zero, it won't be a leading zero. Right. So I'll just explain it. It might be a little bit confusing. So let's say we have two zero zero three, right? And we'll also take uh, the current example, which is two three zero zero two three zero zero. Okay. So in this case, uh, first we'll go through the n, and the n percentile ten is zero, and the leading zero is also true, right? So what we do is we just divide it by ten. So this becomes 2, 3, 0 and we continue. Again, we encounter 0 and the leading 0 is still true. So we just eliminate this 0 and move on. Now we encountered a 3. Now leading 0 will be false and then the n value is uh, decremented. So we outputted 3. So we outputted 3 and divided 3 by 3 by uh, we removed the 3. Again, we go to 2, then this will fail and we will come here and then we'll output 2, right? And it will become 0. And this condition will fail. We'll just output the end line and we move on. So we are handling this case right now. Okay. So in this case, 2003. Now, in the case of 2003, first we encounter a 3 right when we encounter 3 the leading zero is definitely okay let's let's do this 20030 now first zero we encounter we see that it is a zero and we see that leading zero is true then we just delete the zero and move on next time we encounter 3 the leading zero is turned into false now any zero that we see should be outputted right we just uh, go through the normal loop again so this this will never become true again right 
so that's the uh, condition we are uh, those are the two edge cases that we are handling with this code so let's see and uh, let's see if this is working and all the edge cases are handled all the cases are handled right so okay we are outputting five a lot of times okay so this is a problem we we didn't put divided by equals to right we are assigning the new n value right right so this is the expected output so we have solved the problem i think in at least in the local uh, given inputs so let's submit and see if this is working guys again this is how you take care of edge cases you understand the problem well so that you can understand where the edge cases are and then you can correct them right so this is the correct answer and uh, i'll also uh, include time complexity and space complexity i'll try to do it in every video so i'll talk about that now so if you look at uh, time complexity we are running uh, so this is just test case loop so we don't need to consider that loop as a test co a time complexity uh, so we only need to consider this code as time co uh, for time complexity analysis so we have one while loop and that's just if condition right so we basically count this while loop to be uh, the higher order one so the time complexity will be uh, d order of d order of d where d is number of digits in n right any number that is given how many digits are there will be the time complexity of this one right there won't uh, that's the uh, that's a linear time complexity right so this is a really good uh, this is like acceptable solution because the time is also good so that's fine uh, and the space complexity will be well we are not using any arrays right we are not using any arrays at all so it will be it will be constant space complexity right we are just using a couple of variables you know uh, so it's just a constant time space complexity again if you don't understand what i'm talking about please check out time complexity and space complexity it is really really important for interviews and even when you are writing your own code for your projects you have to think about it if you want to make your uh, code really good right you don't want your code to be slow or take a lot of memory right so yeah thank you for watching share it with your friends and uh, please put any comments that you have or any doubts i'll respond sorry for uh, you know posting uh, so inconsistently and so uh, so like there's a lot of spread in my videos uh, timeline but i'm i'm actually trying to uh, you know make a uh, new sort of video i'll uh, you'll see it in my channel so please subscribe and follow and uh, i'll make sure that you don't regret following the channel